Kaboom! Yes, guys, welcome to the channel. I've put together a video for you of my top three Town Hall 14 attack strategies, mainly spam attacks, easy to use and powerful. So this is the first one. We're going to check out the army composition, then watch a replay for each of the attack strategies. So this one is going to be six balloons, six dragons, and six dragon riders. Spells are going to be three clone spells, two free spells, and then a further rage spell and poison spell to sprinkle on top. Now, normally we're going to be using the battle blimp and your clan castle troops. Very important, guys. We want two yetis and two yetis only. Nothing else. This is the yeti clone bomb attack. We're going to be cloning those yetis. So we're going to jump into our replay in just a moment. Before we do, quick reminder on this channel, we've got something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their code. It's easy to do. There's a C emblem in the shop, top right-hand corner, and you just input your favorite content creator's code. Our code is code moose. Any support would be amazing, and you do need to renew it once a week. So here we go, guys, on to our first replay. So guys, I have to say, this is my favorite attack strategy at the moment. Yeti Clone Bomb is so easy to use and so powerful. Now, normally you're gonna send in the Yeti Clone Bomb in the Battle Blimp towards the Town Hall and take out the surrounding targets, the Town Hall and perhaps those three Inferno Towers. But on this base, it's a tough decision. We've got so much value around the Eagle Artillery. So uh, at this point, I sent in my king, and I'm thinking, yeah, we'll go after the town hall, sent in the king and queen, and I thought, no. Now, I've changed my mind. We're going to go after the eagle artillery, four expos, and two scatter shots. So I've sent in a couple of balloons to check for traps. Then we've sent in the battle blimp. Get ready with your clone spells. Overlap your clone spells so they're not sort of stacked on top of each other. It spreads out the yetis. Then use a rage spell to help the yetis. We do need a poison spell there. There's some super minions. And look at the damage we're doing. We've taken out four expos, two scatter shots, an eagle artillery, and I think some builder huts as well amazing and the queen has broken into that compartment up there now and now normally we won't do this guys but on this base we will we're going to go directly after the town hall with our troops and our grand warden normally the battle blimp would do that for us so it's just important if you do this that you save your grand warden ability if it's close ish to where the grand warden it starts out anyway that you save your Grand Warden ability to protect your troops from the poison bomb where the town hall is, because otherwise they're going to be in trouble. So the dragons are spinning around. They've hit the tornado trap. I have probably used the Grand Warden ability a bit early there, but they're making their way away, away from it. But no, one dragon. No, the Grand Warden's flying straight into the poison bomb. Gary, get out of there. It's not going to end well. Quickly fly away. And I think Gary the Grand Warden will probably make it. The Queen's still there on the right hand side. We've got some dragons on the right hand side as well. Gary the Grand Warden. No. You see that poison bomb took out Gary. He's uh, out of action now. And the Royal Champion moving through the base. And look how powerful this attack strategy is, guys. Yes. So let's recap it again. So out of all the attack strategies you'll see today, this is probably the most powerful. Uh, well, on this video anyway. Sorry, guys. Yeah, on this video. So what I would say is normally go after the town hall. Freeze the barracks for four stars like that. Yes, remember to do that. Uh, normally go after the town hall. Uh, overlap your clone spells to spread out the yetis. Just use two yetis only. No other troops in the clan castle. And use a rage spell to help them out. It's like, you know, you can use blizzard attack, guys. That is... Uh, blizzard attack is brilliant. But... It's a lot more difficult to use than this. And we've got loads of troops left over. We've got the Queen. We've got the Royal Champion. We've even got the Owl is still there. And uh, three stars. Thank you very much. So there's our first replay. And guys, what we've got is we've got another replay for this attack strategy where I'm going to show you going after the Town Hall. Just because it's so powerful, I thought, you know, let's show you the, the normal way we're going to be using it. So, funnel time, first of all, balloon and dragon over on the right hand side, and then the queen just above that. What we're going to try and do, I mean, you can use your king and queen to help funnel the troops into the base. King one side, queen the other side. But sometimes uh, a, a chance arises like this where you think, you know, let's put the king into that compartment, let's take out the scatter shot you know you can get loads of value out of that one thing i would say is always try and send in your main army above your queen so you can protect your queen and try and keep her in the battle as long as possible so that's what i've done there guys i've sent in the troops above the queen use the grand warden ability otherwise the queen would be taken out uh, and then we've prepared for the battle blimp to arrive we've cloned those put those clone spells there rage spell and the yetis have been unleashed now sorry back to the queen 
The queen is very important, and I always say this in my videos, but what we've done there is sometimes people just use the king one side, the queen the other to funnel into a base. But your queen gets taken out, she's gone. If you can try and, uh, you know, so say the you use your king on one side and the queen moves towards the centre of one side of the base, send in your troops above the queen. Now, the reason I say that is if you do that, the troops will obviously distract the defences and your queen will go back to full health with the unicorn. And then about this time in the battle, here comes the queen, full health, unicorn. And how valuable is that? So normally when I use this sort of attack strategy and I get three stars, it's because the queen is still there at the end of the battle. So it's very, very, very important you try and protect your queen at the beginning of the battle, guys. So she's still there at the end and will help you get three stars. So what's going on? We've got three dragon riders. That cannon is getting taken out and it's going to be another three star attack. Now, guys, if you're like me, I'm an average player. I'm not very skillful with Laloon. I still cannot do Laloon, honestly. But if you're looking for a nice, easy to use spam attack, this is the attack for you. Yeti clone bomb with an air attack. It's got to be air attack, really, because if you use ground attack, you need uh, earthquake spells, jump spells, and you lo lose those clone spells. Anyway, so on to our next attack strategy then, guys. And we're going to be using the flame flinger for this one with a strange combination of troops 10 super archers and 10 yetis but super archers are amazing guys just trust me and watch this replay so spell is going to be nine earthquake spells two free spells a rage spell then a poison spell to sprinkle on top clan castle troops two yetis a valk and yes that is bob the barbarian and we're normally going to be using the flame flinger or log launcher i mean it all depends on the base if there's too many long range defenses around the town hall you can't really use the flame flinger on this base it's okay there's not many you know mortars expos uh, clan castle troops, no, we're okay. So we're going to use that extra extra earthquake spell to damage the town hall and activate it so the flame flinger will go after it. Then we send in Yeti to search for traps. And guys, if you come across a base that you can't do this, you can't use the flame flinger, just use the log launcher and earthquake spells or the wall wrecker. We've used the rest of the earthquake spells to open up the base. Then we're going to set a funnel. On the left, a couple of Yetis and a super archer. On the right, a Yeti. And we're going to send the rest of the Yetis and Super Archers in the center with the Grand Warden, the Heroes, and the Log Launcher. No, I'm only joking, guys. There's no Log Launcher. Not today. The Flame Flinger is still doing its thing at the bottom of the map. But if we were doing it normally without the Flame Flinger, this is where you would send in the Log Launcher or the Wall Wrecker just moving through the base. Grand Warden ability used. How's that Flame Flinger doing? How are you doing down there, Mr. Flame Flinger? Very well, by the looks of thing. Uh, things uh, do look after your flame flinger because there could be skeleton traps or anything like that going after it uh, but it does look like we're going to take out that compartment watch out for enemy clan castle troops this is looking pretty good those super archers can they take out no the inferno tower has taken out a couple of super archers there and uh, that flame flinger is going to take out the town hall in a moment the rule champion saying don't worry i'm here i'm going to help out and the uh, town hall is gone nearly yes Goodbye. And unfortunately, oh no, the Royal Champions just stood in that poison cloud for no reason. Well, uh, tornado trap, yes. Yeah, so I do believe we're going to lose the Royal Champion. The Queen is still there and uh, she does have her ability. We've run out of spells. We've just got the Queen ability. We have got some Super Archers just... Uh, and of course, Super Archers have got really long range with their uh, arrows. So they're good at taking out different compartments, maybe Inferno Towers, etc. The Flame Fling is still there. That thing is lasting forever. Magnificent. The Queen's there as well. We have used her ability. And I think we've run out of defences to attack, have we? And now the uh, Flame Flinger has unpacked. And those Yetis have come out and said, Phew, it was hot in there. Thank you for releasing us from the Flame Flinger. And it's going to be three glorious stars again and of course guys uh we do have another attack strategy we're going to check out in just a moment like i said guys these are my top three town hall 14 attack strategies i think just for how easy they are to use and how powerful they can be so on to our last attack strategy and this is a beautiful sort of hybrid air attack five dragons five super dragons clone spells three of them two free spells, a rage spell, and poison spells to sprinkle on top. Clan castle troops, again, are just going to be two yetis and two yetis only because we will be cloning them. And normally, of course, we're going to be using the battle blimp. So town hall here at the bottom of the map, we're going to go straight for the town hall with the battle blimp in a moment. Normally, you're going to be attacking from the opposite side to where the town hall is. King and queen on that corner, what we're going to do is try and funnel the troops into the base. 
So we're not going to just leave the king and queen. I know I keep saying this, guys, but it's so important. We're going to send the king and queen in, and then we want to protect the queen. So hopefully the queen will move over to the left-hand side. There she is. And then we're going to send in the troops above the queen now. What that does is it helps protect our queen from the defences, and hopefully she'll still be there at the end of the battle. Grand Warden ability used. Protect that battle blimp. And now all of your concentration should be focused on that battle blimp. Get ready with your clone spells. You can put them down before the battle blimp gets there or after. It's up to you. I normally uh, overlap them before the battle blimp gets there and then put a rage spell right in the middle. And then those yetis are doing mass damage there. Town hall's gone. Can we take out one of those inferno towers, please? It's going to be closed. Yes. So we've taken out the town hall. Uh, an Inferno Tower, and there was something else there, guys. I'm not sure what it was. And there's still some clone jetties wandering around. Now, what this does, if you're attacking from the opposite side to where the Town Hall is, the Battle Blimp gets rid of quite a few traps, and it means the majority of your army will be nowhere near the Poison Bomb when the Town Hall is destroyed, and that is massive. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I do it this way, guys. And this is my favourite attack strategy at the moment, Yeti Clone Bomb. I know I said that on the first replay, but any kind of air uh, hybrid attack with Yeti Clone Bomb is really, really powerful and easy to use. We've got the Queen over there on the right-hand side. We've still got her ability. There's Dave the Dragon with the Queen. Are we going to get three stars? Of course we are. And guys, remember you can download each of these army copy links from the video description. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and let me know in the video comments which is your favourite attack out of all of these three today. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you later.